Shalom and greetings from Jerusalem. Welcome to Lunchtime Prayer for Israel. We're on day five of the Feast of the Lord series, and today is called Tashlish. On the first day of the feast, the Jewish people have a tradition called Tashlish, Tashlish based on God's promise to, quote, cast their sins into the sea. Again, for more information on this tradition, go to www.novea.org and down at the bottom, click on Simcha and just go to the Feast of the Trumpets and you'll see the various blogs. Well, not coincidentally, the rabbis tell us that Rosh Hashanah is the day when we coronate God as the King of the Universe. They might be right for other reasons as well. I suggest this holiday is about the King of Israel. Isaiah 44 and verse 6. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Besides me there is no God. In this holiday, we see that the King of Israel and his Redeemer are one. So we want to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, and we want to pray that Israel will prepare for the coming of the King, the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords. Oh, Father God, what a wonderful day that's going to be. It's so exciting, and we yearn, oh, how we yearn for the peace of Jerusalem and that day when the whole world welcomes the King of all kings into this city, into Jerusalem. But Lord, People need to prepare. They need to prepare themselves to stand before that king because he is holy and he will not tolerate sin in his presence. So again, we pray that the Jewish people around the world will begin to prepare for that day that they will stand before the king. And it's in his name that we pray. Amen. And with that, we say the Hitra Oath and Shalom from Jerusalem.